friends, hola amigos. You have reached El Canto do Cavaco. I'm your host, Francisco. This is where we go to learn about this marvelous instrument, the cavaquinho. Now, the reason I created this channel is because there's lots of videos online about how to play this instrument. However, most of the best ones are only in Portuguese. Also, I haven't found a notation that is accessible and easy, especially for those who maybe don't know how to read music or standard music notation. So I wanted to create an easy way to understand the grooves on the cavaquinho so that someone who's never played a piece of music in their life grabs the cavaquinho and they can start playing the thing. So this particular video is gonna assume that you already have some experience with the cavaquinho. It's okay if you don't. Uh, you can visit some of my other videos, some of the more beginner ones, about how to hold it, how to support it, your basic chords, that kind of thing. But this video, we're going to jump right in and look at our notation. So, Brazilian music is counted and notated in cut time, which means two beats per measure. Because the telecuteco or the most uh, guitar cavaquinho tamborin patterns fall over four beats we're going to count in four four just be aware that it's felt and it's notated in two four two beats per measure we're going to count it four beats per measure to simplify basically you will see 16 boxes think of it in groups of four four groups of four, four times four, 16. So each beat is going to have four subdivisions. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So to begin with, there's basically two strumming patterns that you want to catalog in your brain. There's far more than two just techniques, but for now, as we get started, it's very helpful to reduce and simplify. So, we're going to talk about a long stroke. For now, we're not going to do any muting. We're just going to let it ring out. Okay? Now, let's look at the short long. It is a, you'll see two arrows. You'll see a short arrow and then a long arrow. Short long. And they happen in consecutive beats. For example, the beat after beat one is one E, right? One E and a, so it would be one E if you were to play the short long on beat one, if you were to start it on beat one. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E. Okay? The important thing to remember when you're doing the short long, it lasts two beats, one E, so the important thing is to not pick up your pick after the first short. Short, no. One direction. Think of the British boy band. Boom, ba. One, e. If it helps, think of North Pole, South Pole. The short is going to take care of the bottom string. If you get the bottom two strings, no big deal. Short, long. And then the follow through on the long. Grab the top string. Short, long. Short, long. Okay. Now let's just practice each one. Let's do longs on every beat. On beat one, two, three, four. Easy peasy. We'll just do long strokes. Let's set it to 60 BPM. We're going to use our D chord to start. One, two, three, four. Long. If it helps you to say long on each beat, do it. Long, 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 long. Okay, now let's practice the short longs, starting on each beat. So it's going to take a place of two beats. It's going to go 1E, e, 2E, e, 3E, e, 4E. All right? 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. 2, Now 
let's play our first groove. I pick this groove because you don't have to anticipate the chord change at the end of four beats. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. We will learn as we get going. So let's start with just one chord to begin with, D. We're going to build it up beat by beat. Okay, first beat one, 60 BPM. Let's just do the material in beat one, and then we'll add slowly and slowly. One, two, four. Short, long, long, right? Three, four. Three, four. Three, four, short, long, long. Okay. Short, long, long, short, long. Bump, dunk, dunk, boom, dunk. Right? One, two, three, four. Short, long, long. Three, four. Okay, now let's look at beat three and four. Most of the time when you're playing samba, your accents or your beats are played as downstrokes, be them short longs or longs. This particular groove, we're gonna use down, up, down. You see that long stroke on the E of three and E of four, that up stroke. So we're gonna go one, two, Three E and the four E and down, up, down. Easy. One, two, three, four. Short, long, long, short, long. Down, up, down. Short, long, long, short, long. Down, up, down. Make four the same as three. Awesome guys, good job. Now, what we want to do, let's switch chords. So we're going to go from our D, let's do to our A. Okay, A7 to be specific. One, two, three, four. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Um, as always, I recommend, um, I'm giving you a distillation of what I've learned from my teachers, what I've heard spending almost 20 years playing the Kavaku. Uh, I always recommend go back to those original recordings, the ones that you know and love, really try to dial into the Kavaku, and always reach out to your local teachers who grew up with the stuff to get the real juice those who grew up playing it and were immersed in it is where you can get a lot of the the real juice i'm giving you some of the basics so you can start playing the instrument immediately um so yeah those are my recommendation guys play 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 practice practice we'll see you next time thank you